Welcome back to a new video guys. Today I'm going to be talking about the Marion Bluetooth wireless adapter that they offer for the Bose QC25 headphones. Now they did reach out to me and ask me to do a review so I'm going to try to give you my honest opinion on if you should purchase their product or not. Let's hop right into it. So it comes in this really simple small package and everything that's inside of it is a micro USB charging cable. So if you have an Android device or really anything that has a micro USB uh, you already have a charging cable for it but they give you a charging cable for it. They give you a little uh, pamphlet uh, for the quick setup guide and controls for the device and then the device itself. So there's no little fluff inside of it at all. It's covered in this smooth plastic. Uh, it's a matte black smooth plastic. It looks great, uh, feels great, and it fits perfectly snug on the device. It's super easy to put in. You just slide it in just like you're sliding in um, the cable and it fits right in there. Now it fits super tight. I would not worry about it flying off if you're doing any vis vigorous activity or running or anything. I used it for working out and it worked great. Uh, so on the bottom, there's the power button that's also used for pairing uh, and it pairs just like any Bluetooth uh, device that you would use for say your phone or anything like that. Super simple, just press it and it connects. Uh, there's the power and pause button next to it and then there's the volume up and down control. And then on the top is the, the, the charging port for that. So it fits super easy and I had a great experience out of the box. It was already fully charged. Uh, and once I connected it, which was seamless really, uh, it worked right out of the box. It was perfect. There was no problems that I had with it. I was really surprised that it worked so well. Um, and it literally took like a minute to set up, not even. Uh, so super simple. And so I've been using this for about 10 plus hours now. On their website, it does say their usage is 10 to 15 hours. So I'm probably nearing the end of the battery life right now. Uh, but the charge amount of how long it takes is about an hour, hour and a half to get back to full battery. So that's pretty amazing. Uh, and another thing is uh, just how it connects. There is no input delay that I could notice uh, from what my device was playing uh, to what I was hearing in my uh, headphones. So I have an iPhone 10 uh, and I was really shocked from the video that I was watching and what I was listening uh, in my headphones, there was no delay at all. So it worked very well in that sense. I do have two complaints about uh, the wireless adapter. The microphone is not the highest quality at all. I would actually say it's pretty poor quality. Maybe it's my device that I got, um, but it is pretty poor to the sense that the instructions say that you can use Siri. Siri just did not understand what I was trying to say uh, and I would be talking really loudly uh, and it still would not pick up half the times what I was going to say. Uh, also, I was on multiple phone calls testing this out uh, and every time everyone, whenever I turned this on, everyone would say, what happened to you? Where'd you go? It sounds terrible. I can't hear you at all. So that is one critique uh, that you might want to keep in the back of your mind if you're thinking about picking this up uh, is if you're thinking about using it for phone calls, um, I would advise against it. Uh, the other thing is the connection distance is I would say about 30 to 35 feet. Um, I connected it to my phone. Uh, I was playing music. I put it on one side of my apartment and I walked to the other side of my apartment, which is again, only like 30, 35 feet. It was an open hallway. Uh, nothing was in the way of, I could literally look at my device. So, so there was no wall or anything that was getting in between. Um, and once I was pushing that 35 foot mark, um, I was getting some loss of audio and and then once I walked a little closer, it cleared right up and it was just like the audio was breaking up. Um, so if you are going to be using this, definitely keep your device on you. So if you're using a tablet and you want to walk away, that's totally fine. But again, remember you have about a 35 uh, foot radius uh, of that before you start to lose uh, audio quality. There's one tiny little minute complaint as well is the volume up and down buttons sometimes don't register. Um, so sometimes you have to click it twice to go up one notch. Um, but that is a small problem. It's not that 
much of a big deal. Uh, so for $45, I already have a pair of QC25s. You guys know that I love Bose, Bose QC25s. Um, and so I think it's worthwhile if you already have it. It's only $45 um, and it does make it a wireless headphones right out of the box. Uh, and if you've purchased, if you already have a Bose QC25s. I know on Amazon Prime Day that was just around the corner, um, they were giving these headphones away for $125, which is an insane discount. That's more than half off. Um, I think currently these are still selling somehow for $270 on Amazon, and the Bose QC35s with our, our built-in Bluetooth is for $350. So if you're split between purchasing the Bose QC25s and grabbing this adapter, or just getting the Bose QC35s because you really want that Bluetooth, I would probably advise going for the Bose QC35s. But again, if you already have the QC25, these headphones uh, that have the cable uh, and you want that Bluetooth ability, I would highly advise picking one of these up. Um, it really does make these headphones into a wireless uh, headphones. So I'll leave the link in the description of where you guys can check it out. It will be on Amazon. Uh, as I am recording this video today, I did check. It is $45 uh, and I think it's free shipping as well. So that's pretty awesome. I would highly recommend purchasing this for $45. Again, the link will be in the description down below. Um, and yeah, that's it. So as always, if you like the video, like it, dislike the video if you disliked it, and please tell me what your thoughts were down in the comments below. Say if you've already purchased this product, definitely let me know your thoughts and opinion. I want to kind of have a conversation down in the comments, all right? As always, guys, cheers.